With the number of asylum seekers coming to the city nearing 50,000, the mayor has laid out a new blueprint for coping with the problem that has created a humanitarian crisis. The mayor intends to create a new agency devoted entirely to asylum seekers, build a new 24-7 arrival center away from the Port Authority bus terminal, and launch a job training program with SUNY Sullivan. So CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer here now with more details and the consequences for just how much this is going to cost the city. Marcia. Well, Christina Marie the mayor is calling his new blueprint the next phase in the city's response to the tens of thousands of asylum seekers that have made their way to the Big Apple. But one thing that's not included in this next phase is a way to get the federal government to reimburse the city. The major, mayor's budget director says he's not hopeful the feds will come through. I asked the mayor about that. Since the city is going to have to pay a bigger amount of the share of the cost of these programs, will other city services have to be cut in order for the city to afford to deal with the asylum crisis? We spent 600, over $650 million, I think $654 million uh, from, uh, from July to February. Uh, when you look at that number, that's an astronomical number. Uh, it's estimated that... Uh, this fiscal year and next is going to be $4.2 billion. Uh, those are real numbers. And I said this before, and I'm, say, I'm going to say it again. Every service in the city is going to be impacted. Grim words from Mayor Adams, who in just a few months is going to have to cobble together a new budget for the fiscal year that starts July 1st that will apparently force the city to swallow a far bigger share of the cost of housing, schooling, and resettling tens of thousands of asylum seekers here and now or expected to arrive here in the future. We cannot do this alone. And we have been doing it alone thus far, and that must stop. Though federal dollars are in short supply, that didn't stop the mayor from inviting an asylum seeker from Venezuela to help make his case. All I want to ask is for the federal government to speed up the asylum process so that we can finally settle here. The mayor's plan now includes moving arrival operations from the Port Authority bus terminal to a new 24-7 center that is yet to be determined. A pilot program with the Catskill branch of the state university to provide housing and job training for asylum seekers awaiting work papers and creating a new agency, the Office of Asylum Seeker Operations, to focus on resettlement, advocacy, and legal services. The mayor was coy about where exactly he plans to resettle people. Please Please don't ask me which cities because I don't need you running to the cities and stopping us from getting asylum seekers there. So we're not telling you. We tell you when they get there, you know, because uh, I know you enjoy pitting cities against cities. So we, we're not giving you that information. Well, the mayor said the asylum seekers would be sent to pre-vetted cities and municipalities, both in New York and across the country. It's unclear who will pay the resettlement costs. Christina Maurice. Okay, Marcia, thanks. Thank you, Marcia.